Hey, what's up, guys? Today I have a long-awaited review of the GANS 356. This cube can be purchased for $19.50 from cubesforspeed.com, which is a lot for a 3x3, but compared to competitors, this is around $3.5 cheaper. Taking a look at the stickers, we can see that they're fairly standard. There's nothing really special about them, except for the fact that, like normal stickers nowadays, they're fit exactly for the cube with the center sticker being circular. This cube has a very soft and buttery feeling, which is very unlike any of the other Gans puzzles. And the corner cutting, as well as the reverse corner cutting, is incredible. Which leads me to the main problem of this cube. Despite the great corner cutting, it still continues to get locks. When just turning the cube and doing algorithms on it, you don't really notice. However, when it comes to solves, I find that it's very distracting and often results in bad times. Taking a look at the pieces, it's easy to see why. When the sharp edge of the corner hits the centerpiece, it catches onto it, creating that lockup. I have heard of a mod to fix this problem. However, in this day and age, most cubes you don't have to mod, so it's quite annoying when you have to. While we're focused on the centerpiece, as you can see, it's a very weird way of tensioning. If you stick this plastic piece on top and twist, it'll either tighten or loosen the cube. Another thing to note about this puzzle is that both the edge and the corner comes with screws in it. I've yet to do anything with these, nor do I understand why they're there, but they are. As should be assumed by the name, this cube is smaller than most 3x3s, coming in at 56 millimeters. Overall, would I recommend this puzzle? Probably not. There's two main reasons for this. Number one is the price. $20 for a 3x3 is absolutely ridiculous. That is way overpriced and unnecessary. And the second reason is because of the locking. It requires you to mod the puzzle in order for it to be better, which honestly in this day and age you shouldn't have to do with the 3x3. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to leave them in the comment section. Also, follow me on Instagram at Just Keep Cubing and like me on Facebook, also at Just Keep Cubing. Thanks. Bye.